Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Kaizel Redux in which we're playing as two Sicilies, a nation which I might have done before, I might not have, I'm not sure. But the legacy of the Civil War. Following the Napoleonic Wars, the Kingdom of Two Sicilies was created combining the two old kingdoms of Naples and Sicily, which lasted until 1680 or 1860, when Sardinia Piedmont, aided by Garibaldi's partisans, united Italy under her rule. The South, which was always generally agricultural, suffered at the hands of the Savoyards, who did not care much for the industrializing of the South, and poverty became commonplace. When the Valkyrie began, Italy began to chose, uh, eventually chose the side of the Entente, much to her ruin. The Austrians armed signed an armistice in 1919, in which they were allowed to occupy Lombardy and Venetia until a peace treaty was signed. However, outraged nationalists, republicans, and socialists rose up against the government for their foolhardy actions, and starting a war they were doomed to lose, and when King Victor Emmanuel and his son abdicated, the kingdom of Italy collapsed into anarchy. Civil war soon convulsed the peninsula, and hope seemed lost for the forces in the south of Italy until the Austrians rejoined the war, in exchange for southern participation in a new political system, the Italian Federation. The Austrians pushed back the syndicalists from Lombardy, and the syndicalist pressure on the Abruzzo line was removed. Following the ceasefire, the south joined the Italian Federation as the kingdom of two Sicilies, but was always with the understanding that only the promise of Austrian aid kept the federation intact. Uh, when the syndicates threatened the South in 1927, the Austrians, Austria's promises of protection vanished, and while the war never materialized, the worth of the Federation was revealed. The two Sicilies, the Papal State, and the Sardinia withdrew, leaving Austria's only place of influence in the Republic in the North. Now we're on Rome. We're in the future of the Mezzogiorno. Our status of being the wealthiest of Italian nations is not due to our actual wealth, but however, the other parts of the peninsula's assets are either war torn, war -torn or owned by foreign investors. We are effectively the last hope of Italian industry, the kingdom of two Sicilies. Since the end of hostilities, the kingdom has been mostly focused internally. The Christian Democrats in Paris since 1921 have been trying to pursue the age-old dream of land reform in the South. The lack of progress on this front, however, has caused the Christian Democrats' super majority to fall in 1927, though a Democratic coalition has kept the power since, and made some small movement towards land reform in Campania and Capua. The rise of the opposing Azion Meridonal could signify a radical change in the kingdom's politics, and only time will tell they get to achieve the reactionary aims or democracy will prevail. Long live the kingdom. A second, Resorgimento. For the as for the future of Italy, questions have slowly been arising regarding their place in the coming conflict. Peace on the peninsula. It's held by delicate balance. If the syndicalists strike, they must do so without drawing the Third International into battle with them. Should they do so, both Germany and Austria will feel compelled to intervene. They will not, however, feel so compelled if two Sicilies strikes first. So, as in the Socialist Republic of Italy, to make the first move towards a second resorgimento, and they must do so without French backing, we must keep a careful watch in the Abruzzo line to see if they become so bold. Viva Italia! And we have the Bourbon Restoration. Oh, you remember this, please go ahead. As well as unclear identity, as we read about Camusi Nera, Evolian Exodus. The far right militant Camusi Nera, associated with traditional integralism, has seen a membership drop since the ultra right philosopher Julius Evola declared his intention to leave the group in an official capacity due to their loyalty to the Bourbon crown and participation in parliamentary elections, noting that neither can benefit the uh, descendants of the Roman nation or, more importantly, its spirit. He is joined by the Zongtim Evolian followers whom are dubbed radical traditionalists, anti-clerical nationalists, ultra-right veteran groups, and hardline House of Savoy restorationists. The chemistry near is clearly irritated that he has left with more members than he entered in with. Oh, hopefully this pretty split will weaken them. Oh, look at that. Also, I might have played this before. Maybe in Kaiserreich. I don't remember. I really don't. Because we've got him. We can do Ebola route, and eventually we get the Mafia, the Fascisti, or Neo San Fidesti, which I want to go with uh, Ebola, because I don't... Because I looked it up on my channel, I don't think I've done it before. Um, so, I could be wrong. But we do have a cup of tea here, too. As we're training our guys as best as we can. Black money hits the kingdom. The economic crisis that began in Germany. Um, uh, spiraled out of control and spread Italy. The kingdom of two Sicilies. As uh, prosperity has been shattered by Black Monday and confidence in this government has been shaken. May God protect us. Oh my God. Not good. Not, not good. Um... How do I spell Sicily? C I S I. Yeah, there's only one L. S I C I L I E. Sorry, I'm actually looking at my own YouTube channel. And I don't think I've ever done this before, so. Good old Black Monday. And then what? Ah, Royal Armed Forces. But. Let's take a look see after that is done. Yes. Declare war on the Cosa Nostra and their ilk. Remove organized crime, gain war with the Mafia. Backroom deals with the Dons. Once you unite Italy, you'll be able to defeat the Mafia. Peace with the Mafia. Industrial developments, the shipyard matter, dealing with a crisis, huh? Defensive stance, artillery bata battalions, mountaineers, planning speed, truck production costs, motorized attack, um, begin army of reform, defending the skies, land doctrine. Well, you get these anyways, but on this side is this one. Further the Abruzzo line, 
Mobilize a realm. That is nice. Ooh, I like this one. Urban stuff. Coastal batteries is not bad. Uh, because this one requires artillery batteries. Cost reduction. Um, planning speed is not bad. It's not great, though. But I'd rather have planning speed or manpower. Urban is nice. I like having the urban. The battle for Thunacria. So we can do this one over here. Organization to recover rate and training time. Message reforms. Army Sicily is not bad. Industrial development program, too. Huh. Uh, is there anything to deal with? What is this? War with SRI. Well, shipyard matter. Air Force reform. Industrial investments. Declare war on the coast of uh, Nostra and the Elk. I'm not sure which one we really want to do. I guess the mafia organizations like the Costa Nostra of Sicily, the Camorra of Campania, and the Draghetta of Calabria are the lowest scum in all of Europe. They're just a bunch of no-good crooks and killers, and as such, they have no place in a new republic, regardless of how many centuries they've been around without a care to any of the small amount of good work they do in comparison to the mass parasitic damage. We must wipe the sword off the face of Italy once for all. Yeah, that's not good. Hey, barely getting political power, too. Um, a Guerrarian question, hey? Industrial investments. In order to properly modernize a great nation, we'll attempt to gather the resources we need by gathering foreign and local capital into our investment plans. Shipyard matter. Sicily has for more than a decade greatly profited from the use of large dry docks to sell warships to various nations in the troubled times. These profits give the state a meaningful contribution, even if most of our dry docks are working for foreign powers, as a change of policy may very well be in order for in these difficult times of austerity. Expand the shipyards. Expand port facilities. Nationalize shipyards. Remove profits from them. Ooh. Expand the Toronto shipyards. Uh, the noble legion of awakening, poverty and crime rises. With black money hitting our kingdom hard, poverty skyrocketing, and the living standards of many Sicilians have plunged. As at the same time, the various criminals, cartels, and mafiosos have moved in to take advantage of the situation, much to the detriment of the government. Banditry and brigandry have increased in countryside, and many demanding that the government do something. Something must be done in the noble legion. Now, the noble legion of awakening is the umbrella name of a loose grouping of militia societies devoted to the ideas of Julius Evola. Receiving funds to protect nobles loyal to the cause from banditry and socialism. The perceived weakness of the king in this trying times that are more and more jobless men, young men, view, viewing their demands for an immediate revolution, or as they would call a counter revolution, to the two Sicilies' rump state is valid. I speculate that the growth and ability to provide for members is also the result of funding from aligned royalist exiles in Sardinia, the Republic of Italy, and among the reaction of members of the House of Savoy, whom appreciate their loyalty, seemingly pledged to them by Ebola. Leave them alone for now. Tell Sardinia to stop any donations to these thugs. No, they're not thugs, they're comrades. Uh, yeah. Big industrialization, dealing with the crisis, dealing with the recession, this catastrophic, uh, this catastrophe won't be easy. I'll be at time, we'll be an ally in the recovery. We must actively to properly see this issue dealt with. Begin industrialization efforts, historically in a agrarian area. Any effort to industrialize the region of the Mezzogiorno will be an expensive and complex endeavor. We, however, are up to the challenge. A Democratic cabinet in national France, huh? Well, we got maybe a factory too we can use. I want to buy some guns. Can we buy guns? Okay, never mind. Artillery? No. Well, we're going to need artillery. Adrian the seventh, huh? The Camisi uh, Nera. With the rise of crime in the country due to the black money, the Mizia, Mizia Voluntaria per la Securezza Nazionale has been formed. The MVSN, or as they are informally called, the Camisi de Nera, for the black shirts have been popping up and popping out throughout the kingdom, from Naples to Palermo. This paramilitary organization is described as the muscle behind the integralisti in the kingdom, where they've been keeping watch during the rallies as well as disrupting and breaking up the rallies of the left. During the midst of the more controversial Julius Evola, who is only reluctantly allowed into the organization for his far-right monarchist views, and the small but fanatical following it brings with them, especially amongst the sons of the upper class. Nonetheless, his past anti-papal and anti-Bourbon views mark him as the divisive even within the Chemise Nera, but the black shirts are a broad alliance for now. Their disciplined militaristic marches throughout the streets of major cities draw large crowds and drum up more recruits, especially amongst the youth. The Chemise Nera are rapidly becoming a force to be reckoned with, and their numbers are still expanding. It's unlikely they'll stay silent during the elections. We should keep an eye on them. Let's see what happens. You know, they might be fun people to play with later. We have only three research slots, which really sucks, but that's all right. It is what it is. Industrial developments. Um, begin industrialization. The Royal Armed Forces. After the devastating civil war that tore Italy apart, the remnants of the Royal Italian Army in the south were reorganized into the Royal Army of Two Sicilies. However, this reorganization is not yet complete, and must steps must be taken in that direction. Yeah, absolutely. Hmm. Artillery. I, we, I do want to go with Spirit Fire because I always go with them and it's, it's easy to do, but still. Motorized attack and defense. I'm not going to use a lot of motorized. No, not really. So I want planning speed. 
Honestly, we're gonna have more urban battles. Maybe planning speed, maybe? Maybe not. Planning speed would be nice, though. Urban warp retreat. But you can grab that anyways. The planning speed we can be used all over the place, so... You are good. But it's rumored that evil has expanded its high-secret society. Uh, the infamous UR group, which according to government documents, is devoted to discovering arcane knowledge and is managed by Arthur Ragini. While more practical financial backers of Ebola partially succeeded confusing the public as to whether its existence is real or merely a cynical slander. Members of our intelligence services, a little doubt it has gained further membership from predominantly the sons of our aristocratic families both here and in Sardinia. So while the group remains small, the connections it provides are quite powerful. More conservative members of our government want to find and arrest members for promoting indecency, while the socialists would prefer to focus on the noble legion of the awakening for the part in attacking left leaning unions, which we do. Investigate the UR group. Focus on the legion. by both. Oh no, we can't do anything. Hey, industrial developments. Yay. Uh, two off maps. Uh, Dockers would be nice. I mean, we have no chromium to deal with this, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, honestly, getting those two. Uh, Civi would be nice. 42 days. Let's go this one next. Ship our matter. It's two free dockyards. That's pretty nice. Not gonna lie. Lots of secure independence, which I like. would like to play them someday. War with the Mafia. And we'd like to get some more daily army XP as well. This three industry attempted murder of Donato Manduozzo. A wounded World War I veteran who became a soft tired Italian mystic, Donato Manduozzo. Manduzio, famously, converted to Judaism with a small group of Catholics after the war and bases his community out of San Nicarandro. Today, our bomb was mailed to his home, which destroyed his residence, but thankfully went off while he was back in the backyard. It's really agreed to be an assassination attempt by the sons of Hyperborium, an extreme Evolian group that has affiliation with the noble Legion of the Awakening and are said to be behind a string of terrorist attacks, with this being their most dangerous one. While there's no evidence of him being directly involved in denying that he encouraged it, Evola nonetheless defended the attempt on Mandu Manduzio's life as defending the Aryan spirit from someone who's using his mystical abilities in aid of the materialistic spirit that abetted our dissension into Kali Yuga. While some anti Semites and superstitious elements of society are in agreement with the attack, and Evola's apologism has angered the public and political class, unlike the more popular vigilante attack on syndicals and criminals their supporters have conducted. With even some integralists denouncing him, we would move on uh, Evola now. Arrest him. We can't make a martyr out of him. What are you talking about? Uh, construction subsidies? We must build faster. More forts, trenches, ports, factories, bases, dockyards, roads. All that needed, all the needed building blocks and independent power, which we lack. Absolutely. Incentivize arm industries, too. Incentivize. Incentives, huh? Oh, Delhi wins next. The arms industry is an important economic sector. By working closely with contractors and offering new contracts, we can encourage the expansion of many armament facilities. Military industrial complex. The economy and the military must not be at odds, but they must be like two complementary gears in a great greater machine. Good Etat in Siam. Goodbye, Siam. Heavy industry incentives. We're investing in a heavy industry. We can ensure that our nation's heavy industry can withstand the pressure of wartime. Yeah, man, that's pretty much, yeah. The Liberal Coalition, since so the founding of the Kingdom of Two Sicilies. Parliamentary power has been contested primarily by the Social Conservatives and the Social Liberals, however. With the rise of the far right and the creation of the Integralist Paramilitary Force, the Partito Liberale and the Partito Democratico del Lavoro have agreed to form a coalition. This Liberal Pact is dedicated to preserving and strengthening liberal values within the Kingdom. The creation of this alliance, however, weakens the Social Conservative Party, for in the past, the Partito Liberal intended to support the Partito Popular Italiano. For the uh, liberals, though, there is hope that this new coalition will keep the torch of liberalism up strong within the Kingdom of Two Sicilies. The new coalition galvanizes the opposition. And move austerity measures, huh? Thriving economy. But eventually, we gotta do this one. Industrial development effort. While still in the ongoing process. Oh, look at this. Uh, an expensive one at that. We can ensure that the legacy of our industrialization is one that for centuries will have improved the kingdom for the better. We will spare no expense. Ah, been a 236 though, everybody, and we're okay on guns, we do want cars, radio would be nice. Ebola declares a march on Naples. The noble legion of the Awakening have declared their intention to march on Naples and the unpopular Bourbon King, and oust him. Stating that the government's favoritism for foreign capitalists and socialists over the people of Italy have been made far too clear. Other small radical traditionalist groups that collaborate with the legion to a point of arguably being regional sub-entities, such as the Sicilian warriors of tradition and the soldiers of the Aryan spirit, are expected to join them. Sympathetic integralists and nationalists will likely be joining in. How much support can they possibly have? The fighting between the left and right. A rally by the Sicilianazzi. Associate Nilizi Cristian de 
the Levatori, Siciliani, or the Christian associations of Sicilian workers for the ruling Partito Popular Italiano, was disrupted when members of the Chemisi Nera disrupted the rally. This disruption quickly turned into a bloody battle that left quite a few injured, and even a few uh, fatalities on both sides. While the ACLS has forlorn cynicism, the Chemisi Nera is likely decrying the members as agents of the Socialist Republic in the North. Now the outcome of this particular case must be decided. Are these members innocent, or do the words of the Chemisi Nere hold merit and truth? Many conservatives are siding with the CN, declaring that they are traitors to the kingdom, while some of the liberals claim that they are innocent. They are just little traitors, huh? Hmm. Interesting. The march. About 11,000 armed men are marching on Naples and towards the Congressional Building to demand the state be given to the force of tradition. The king could have the army intervene and should expect success if he does, but if his lack of confidence since black money and the growth of militia groups has not gotten noticed, with some rumoring that he believes this is a sign to Sicily's is finally finished. What should you do? Stand on the ground. Oh no, the king go bye bye. Goodbye, king. Hello, Luigi. Luigi takes power. Would you look at that? The king slide has broken the spirit and organization of her state, as the high-level government officials did the same when they heard about what had happened. To make matters worse, Legion took up reports into the cities while the march was occurring without any orders to push back. They managed to take away the regions with little resistance. Thus, at the moment, it appears they control a uh, nation. My gut. Oh no! Fight for tradition! Oh god. We lose political power, electronic research speech, monthly population, stability, weekly stability, production efficiency, cap, research speech, damage garrisons goes down, and concealing factory construction speed goes down. The Legion will declare an attack on modernist institutions for some time. Oh, look at that flag! Are we Prussia? Hey, look at this guy. A goodbye, Bubban, a restoration. We're just a little radical here. We get no political power, too. Oh my god. We follow the Kingdom of Finland. Oh, what happened to Finland? Oh, they're still Finland. Oh, never mind. Frederick Karl. Hey, we kind of like each other. How you doing, Karl? What are we missing? Artillery or something? Darn right of tea as well. Oh, tactical bombers. Well, at least we have the Olympics in Vienna. Dealing with the crisis. All right. All right. The Guerrero question would be nice, too, but... Oh, another city. Yeah. Riding the tiger. Ride the tiger. I like the tiger. Knights of the Grail. Ooh. Well, let's just one wor worst first. Ride the tiger. Baron Julius Evola and his radical traditionalists have finally managed to overthrow the meek state of two Sicilies. His followers roam the streets murdering loyalists to the old regime, something we should let play out while we concentrate them into a single cohesive force. And the Knights of the Grail. In order to carry out our goals, we need more than loosely organized militias. The Knights of the Grail, named for adventurers went, whom went on that ancient journey. It is a highly esteemed society made up of our most loyal militants and armed with their best equipment so that they may answer directly to the Sovereign without question and cast his enemies into darkness forever. And we do want good planes. At the very least. Uh, naval aircraft? Uh, well, okay, it's what we got, I guess. Aristocratic funding. While our cause was already supported by a handful of aristocratic exiles, our victory should remove doubt as to our ability to come to power. We need to reach out to all worthy aristocrats and court their support in return for assuring them if they rank in our society and confiscate degenerative wealth. Or degenerate wealth. What is this? There's still property and riches belonging to loyalists of the old order. Foreigners and gangsters that exist to only enrich these modernizing degenerates while pushing society further into chaos. Seizing these resources is not only good, but will be needed to fund the counter revolution. And it's going up by point two. Very nice. Ruling party, not bad. We're losing political power. God dang it. Let's get another division here. All I want to do is hold as best we can. It's not bad, but, you know, it's not great. We need some engineers as well. There you go. What about the Mafia? Oh, it's gone. Hey, we get point zero two every day. Very nice. Got some planes here. Not bad, not bad. Oh, we've won. Counted one spare fighter. Yeah, keep training. We have no fuel because we have so many ships, so that's alright. That's why we have 33 naval XP. Everything here is interesting. Anything... Ooh, actually, yes, we do. Tories elected in Canada. Sorry about that. Max planning. Offensive. Aggressive. If we have aggressive, I'm going to go aggressive no matter what, because we'll need that eventually, too. Weekly stability will go up. Decryption damage garrison goes down. More stability. National populism. I love national populist. Or national populism. Oh, I'm so glad I'm a national populist myself. The war is over. Yeah, the awful ripples of the economic collapse of Germany's continental system have subsided, but are still an intense enough to cause meaningful budgetary issues. Oh, absolutely. 
Does anyone want to sell guns? No. No, just the Afghanistan. Afghanistan is the only nation in the world we can buy stuff from. Okay, destroy liberalism. Big Bill Haywood. Wow. Okay. Well, integralist complacency. The integralists are on the verge of greatness, but they have stopped short by giving into traditional Christian slave morality and desiring a corporatist economy that collaborates with capitalist powers. We'll put pressure on the remaining remainders to either convert or join a cause or join their meek Christ, Christ in heaven. Ah. Uh. Very good. Quickly change because I still point to. Knights of the Grail initiates. Initiated by a blood pact with the Legion Commander, the Knights of the Grail now are internal security elite, tasked with special operations missions. Oh, hello, Papal State's request. Uh, investigations are upholding the Vaz tradition at all costs. Some are suggesting that we not only allow Legion militants in who are supported by Legion commanders, but also allow our regional allies to join. While others want our requirements to be stronger in the future, for someone to be both a veteran and vouched uh, for by someone of noble blood to become a Grail Knight. Oh, claiming this will earn us our undying loyalty. What should we do? Keep it as is. A lot more loyalists in. Make requirements stricter. Ooh, I like more decryption. Damage decryption is okay. Keep as as is. We can always get more stability. The Papal State's request. The Papal State's been hit hard by black mining in particular. Uh, uh, they are unable to handle their international debates. Uh, uh, or de international debates. International debts. Uh, despite our own economic troubles. Uh, they have requested that we take on all their debts, and while they have protected them ever since the collapse of Italy and accepted the request that it would give us far more control over their state, many question of our economy would be able to handle this little stress. Oh, we got puppetism? They got some of their debts? Interesting. So, I actually apparently did play Ju as Jewish Evola but in Kaiser Rex before, but not as two Sicilies. I played as them. Um, oh, wait, we just served Annex them. Holy crap. Uh, as a Socialist Republic, you can get Ebola as well. Interesting, huh? I thought I played as them before. I hate militia. And don't get me wrong, they're very, very necessary, but still. We get the ships? Ah, we got the Pope ships. Very nice. They're not very good, but whatever. There we go. Have fun with it. They need political power. We need to get engineers next to them. Hey, we're doing better on guns, though, at least. Trucks, not so much. Convoys, and we need them, I guess. Aristocratic funding. And the question of wealth, my friends. As we will destroy liberalism, but let's confiscate stuff first. Yeah, it's not here. Ah, still getting no political power. That's alright. Happens. Knights of the Grail, very nice. Fact of tradition, land issue. I uh, increased diplomatic overtures to the Italian aristocrats, and actually, I'm not going to notice. Damn. Uh, they have been generous in their donations, alongside support from the House of Savoy. Well, we already spent some of the money to stabilize the regime by supporting the Legion with some wealth remains. The question is, how should we invest these goods? Expand the base army? It's not bad. War sports nice. Build more from administration. I like the stability of political power. Oh, no, we're going to go to the factories. We are a nation that needs, desperately needs more mil military factories, so. Absolutely get the factories. Uh, for now, you can do that one too, that's fine. It's a great no, but whatever. It is what it is. It's what we got. Integralist complacency. Yes. A real king, huh? Order shall be restored. Our fellow legion. King reigns. Sardinia demanded. A real king. It's finally time to replace the liberal foreign bourbon rule whose very existence was a mockery to our traditions with our traditional nobles. The central power's victory proves it was not Emmanuel III, whom was at fault for Italy's loss, but internal socialists and liberals who prevented a centralized monarchy from defending us alongside our faithless, democratic, or Bolshevik infected allies. Actually, this is the past, so we have to get Ebola if you want to go to the Mafia and then follow us for out, so. Choose to invade us rather than arguing. Well, organized badness still exists in these difficult economic times, who too is a simple thief, whom thinking of little more than their gluttonous desires, uh, dis disobeys our new order, and in the process debases both themselves and the rest of the society. What should be the new penalty for a crime that cannot be afforded when we battle the forces of chaos and nihilism themselves? Two fingers? A single hand. Their life. I want to go with their life, but that might be extreme. I kind of like extreme. I like more national populist support, though, and more worship would be nice. Stability would be good. We'll just get a little bit of everything here. I'd help this out by point zero one. <sighs> uh, 
Hoffman's Pacific Flight A. Anti-clericalism. Catholic resistance will strengthen. Heroic idealism. Christian religious influence. Strike consumerism. Legion will declare an attack on modernist institutions for some time. Pretty normal. Integralist Incorporation. Well, the Legion's gamut paying off, a majority of the Integralists have uh, survived, uh, are viewed as, as the best means of restoring Italian monarchism to its full potential. The faction led by Archila Stancian and Filippo Anfuso has pledged loyalty to the Legion values and acknowledged the parliamentary tactics in attempting to instate national Catholicism under the Republican king with the desperate gambit to save Italy from socialism, but the path laid out by Ebola is now the correct one. However, more religiously fervent and morally discussed the members of the Integralist Coalition, including Bernardo Artulico, Carmine Sinis, and Luigi Urizo have refused to pledge loyalty and simply stated that they would continue to oppose demonic demagoguery. Together, they have chosen to continue the Camasi uh, Nera as a separate organization that continues to ignore our society's spiritual revol revolt. While our militants want to attack them now, some more politically minded supporters, including our newest members, would prefer to wait and give them a chance to be see, see reason. Purge them? We'll give them more time to change their mind. I feel like this could backfire on us. Who needs political power, right? Ah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna go the path that I usually won't. I would not choose. Uh, yeah, well, I like the cast. Store animals. Basic cast, basic, basic, basic. Well, we're definitely not gonna have any of these guys. Interwar. We have no. We have no uh, air XP. We have really very, very little, little of anything. We're gonna lose more stability now. We'll get more political power back. Oh, and there goes America. Goodbye, America. But we need a real king. Regenerate order. King reigns. Hey, more recruitable population. That's good. Land doctrine also goes down. Pat patriarchal traditions, blood and spirit. Parliamentary raise. In a massively symbolic gesture, a legion ceremony was held today in the former parliament in which Evola gave a speech complimenting the legion for their loyalty, and this was the first step of many from a material world to a spiritual one. The legion recited a prayer, inspired by largely by the Mithraic mystery ritual, while Evola burned the constitution. Then they ordered, uh, orderly exited the building and burned it down, but not before supposedly drawing symbols inside for good luck. While foreign critics in the government in exile have decried this as madness, it's become a massive blow to the morale of local liberals. This should send a message. Increase religious influence. Science constrained. Legion will declare an attack on modern institutions for some time. Cordovi system with caste system. Ooh. Occult societies. Increase religious influence. Primordial faith. The Vatican is vulnerable. A Platonic church. Ghibelline revival. Finish the papacy. Warrior priests. Ooh. Sovereign beyond state, huh? Interesting. I get another research slot, too. The West. Oh my god. The Old World. Wait, Barbers and Gauls. The Barbarians. Arabs and Parthians. The Vikings. Organized Pan Europa. Oh god. Holy crap. Um, okay. Well, I think next will be really good. I like this very much. Anti clericalism, huh? For too long, the Catholic priests have prevented the centralization of power under the monarch in favor of giving spiritual authority to a papacy that preaches a modern slave morality. While the trans trans transition out of a traditional Catholicism will not be easy, a good start would be anti clericalism. The clux issue of Pope's influence in just as nationalist terms than spiritual ones. Knights of the Grail slaughtered as liberals. The Knights of the Grail are tasked with investigating and capturing prominent liberals whom have gone underground as ordered by Ebola and have been told to end the treachery. While well, initially this was thought to mean arresting them, most of the Knights are taking the opportunity to kill them on sight alongside whoever may be hiding them and confiscating their property. The most frequent of these victims are former labor union leaders and activists. This is not against the rules, and indeed, according to the Legion, command, it's an excellent chance for two Sicilies to experience violent redemption, but nonetheless, wants some, some are saying that Ebola should at least require political opponents to be brought in before being tried and executed in a more lawful fashion. Tis only flesh wounds. I prefer alive if possible. Hmm. Minus how much percentage in total? Let's go with that number. 10, 18, 22, 
24%. 4, 9. This will give us more decrease in radical uh, stuff here. There's only flesh wounds. Not bad. The king arrives, too. Give it a couple days, maybe. After spreading pro house of Savoy propaganda and sending out diplomats to secure his arrival, King Emmanuel III has arrived in Naples via ship being greeted by Ebola himself, who lavished praise under the king for support of his cause. While the king does not seem enthusiastic about Ebola's more revolutionary views, he nonetheless lavished praise on him for his loyalty to the aristocracy and respectfulness towards his majesty, noting that he and the legion's undying loyalty will be repaid in full and the socialists will be pushed back into the French commune. Long live Emmanuel III! And remove a five-foot tradition. Good! Will be known as the Kingdom of Sicily. Oh, we change the flag. Look at that. Anticlericalism. Look at this guy. Kind of handsome, is he not? Not as good as Oswald Mosley, but, you know, prominent Catholic resistance. Appears. Oh, look at this handsome guy. Uh, Catholic and conservative resistance revolts has begun. Oh, it's sad. Poor choices. Poor, poor, poor choices, you know. Integralist resistance. Oh, no. The chemistry in the has gone from merely being a nuisance to being of the legion, in the words of Evola, a lingering modernist tumor. Since their attempts to strike the Catholic Church, it has seen a growth. It has built itself as a defense of Catholicism. And even mainstream conservative Catholics, such as Mario Scalba, have reportedly joined them. The king has reassured the people he is merely opposing the presently pseudo-Christian Vatican. For weakening the state, while Evola has privately done the opposite with the legion, and declared the holy war against darkness as truly beginning. With the chemistry near attacking legion garrisons, sealing supplies and launching propaganda campaigns against us, we must stop them. We could punish our families in an effort to flush them out or simply interrogate priests who are undoubtedly hiding them. We should focus on the families of the church. I like the church. We shall smack smack. So with this one. Oh. Sicily resists in the prominent Catholic resistance. Uh, resistance to our rules got grown. The Sicilian Mafia has been acting in conjunction with local rebels opposing the rule over the region. While the Mafia being motivated our attempts to confiscate their ill-gotten gains, and the rebels motivated largely by either demands for democracy or for us to seize our tax on Catholicism. When only a small detachment of legionaries, or Garel Knights, enter the region, they are ambushed, so we must act in absolution. We can either put Sicily under siege and use their navy to block them from supplies, or until the rebel leaders turn themselves in, or the population turns on them. Regular land garrison on the island to fight their way to the capital and eliminate all listed enemies, followed by hunting down rural mob bosses. Hmm. Choose to invade. Disaster at Palermo. Embargo the island. So at some other time I'll do the Mafia or Fascisti, Fasci or Neo San Fidesti. Sometime. Increase your religious influence. N Neo San Fidesti activity. Recently. <clears throat> Major papal resistance, yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty normal. Um, we received reports on the uh, uh, neo san fidisti activity. This reactionary militia has been plaguing us since our spiritual revolution began. Their movement began after one of our more radical militias led a controversial attack on San Giovanni Rotondo. Terrified of revolution, these Catholic extremists banded together to form militias of our own and have been causing trouble in rural areas ever since. The group seems to be incredibly disunited, only united by a leadership council that is otherwise powerless, despite the massive disunity to men. Padre Renato Zigaltia and Padre Pio are the most popular leaders within the neo San Fidisti. The former dreams of restoring a reactionary order to Italy, unifying it in some holy federation, Pio, for his part, is more radical. The deal is a nation, class, race, and ideology disgust him. He wishes to topple a republic and build a society united under faith. Uh, despite this activity, it's not uncommon for the new army of new holy faith to vanish for months at a time and reappear when either we are our weakest or when our so called anti Catholicism is at its strongest. Terrorists are stuck in the past. Primordial faith. What is our religious influence? Profits from shipyards? Not great. I don't like that. It's not bad, but it's not great. Land issue, the worst is over. Nets of the Grail is good. Major papal resistance we gotta get rid of, as well as neo sandisti activities. Very bad. Your religious influence. Quick system, order. Of course, does this give us daily army XP? It does not. Interesting. The Vatican is vulnerable. Even the socialists of the north and the cause of of the papal states continues to play the pa power games, proving that they always aid themselves at the cost of true leadership. The time for the worship of the Pope is over at the state, uh, and its message of meekness and charity ends now. And the primordial faith. Huh. 
What's the Galaxy? Platonic Church. This is the revival, the question of our churches. With many priests who are refusing to renounce papal authority in favor of the king fleeing the area or disappearing the question of what to do with their churches' remains. And a church that is deemed abandoned are now under the control of King Emmanuel III due to the outrage of the papacy. Baron Ebola would like to repurpose them as a legion post where ceremonies can be held, but other proposals are to hand it to the nobility as a reward for loyalty or to allow the serfs to take them over. However, some legionaries have rejected each of these proposals and say that they should be stripped clean of the riches by the state, then burned to the ground to help end papal influence in two Sicilies. An alternative Ebola. An alternative Evola himself does not seem opposed to, while the king is known to be anticlerical and to have a hatred of the Pope's attempts to control him, or most are unsure as he should go so far. Mm. For the military. Serfs. Burn him down. How hard can I, like, to have Catholic resistance? Hmm. Finish the papacy to be like the one I would want to do? Warrior priests sound frickin' amazing, though. Pan Europa? Well, we're trying to get rid of them all, maybe. Platonic Church. Hmm. I want to do this one. I really do. But I think I might actually choose this one, so... We'll go with, uh... For the search. We're not gonna go extremely radical. Just radical enough. A Platonic Church. The Papal State's armies may have fallen, but the Church itself still has too much influence to do away with at the moment. However, in selling scriptures that adhere to Evola's interpretation of Neoplatonism and Hermeticism, so that the Catholicism moves in correct, or at least tolerable direction, would be a goal to strive for. The ceiling is broken. Since at last, no longer has the capacity to oppose our rule. With the mobsters fleeing the area and rebels being starved out, the region is now ours. But perhaps we should set an example, shall we? Hello? Well, let's switch it over to uh, There's an Allegiant outpost. This is now our serfs. An ally whom all may be treat, uh, treat treacherous. Gibeline Revival? Against the mercantilist Gulfs, the Gibeline understand that spiritual power should rest with the Emperor alone. The loss helped usher in the fall of man from rule by the nobles to the mercantilists, so we must survive their legacy. This may turn the tide, as uh, and as the one closest to the transcendence, the king has total authority over religious law, with the papacy being grateful for what they get. Primordial faith. There is a faith for more eternal than the materialistic science, and meet Christianity supported by the modernists. It allows us to achieve transcendence by understanding that the traditions of our people it is our true faith. Bombing a body. The alchemists have attacked our factories and soldiers today after setting off an explosion or explosive in a port and battery. They must be found at once. Shall we sign more or grill nests to investigate or make our war with the remaining integralists our top priority? Next in the case. This is our top priority. Heroic idealism, blood and spirit. Of course, I do want science constrained as much as possible, too. It's not much, but I'm thinking. Maybe we should do patriarchal traditions next. Just so we can get down to here faster. While the correlation between masculinity and greatness is undeniable, many proposals insist on forms of female equality against all hard evidence to the contrary that this is a degeneration of society. It's time to right the wrongs of the past and stop men from being enslaved to Eros while instituting women's correct position as instrument of the progression. Yes. We need a manpower, right? Prepare whatever you need. And hopefully do it quickly, too. Are we out of guns? Trucks? Makes sense. Blood and spirit. We are the descendants 
of the Atlanteans, the Hyperboreans and the Romans making us capable of containing a nation with the best of traditions and formative energies. This concept should unite the population unlike the nationalism born from the French Revolution and likewise means that we cannot allow our blood, which contains the very spirit of our nation, to be diluted. Chemistry near found, after torturing enough captured chemistry agents, we have long last discovered the chemistry headquarters in a farmhouse in Rio Palermo, while Bernardo Altolico and Mario Scelba themselves being apprehended in the raid. Carmine Sensis, Sinis, and Luigi Urizo were not found, however, and are said to have fled to Portugal where the Catholic government protects them, nonetheless. From the supplies found, it's both clear they were receiving foreign funding, and more importantly, have lost too much to recover as they've been shipped away at a, uh, for too long to handle a blow of the size. When not all citizens have embraced us, this may mark the end of our largest internal political resistance. Now, while the Camis Nera soldiers are being publicly executed, the question remains of what to do with their leaders, with some advocating a harsher death sentence, and others wanting to throw them in a deep hole and see if they break up to give up more information. The same fate as comrades. Public stoning. Throw them in oblitus. I'll go that one. Blood and spirit. Ah. We do have quite a few divisions, though, which is very nice. Um, I've always liked helping these guys out. They're authoritarian Democrats. Do we like anybody here? Oh, we like national populists. That's very good. Oh, are they paternal autocrats? You know what? You don't need help, but we could probably send some volunteers so we get some experience ourselves, which is always good. It's always good to, good to get more experience, is it not? I'm not going to send two because I only want to put some on front. Because I'm lazy. I want engineers next. Actually, really, I wouldn't have enough arm XP at all. And that's the Holy Grail Esoteric Developments. There have been rumors of the evil and his closest followers interested in magic and the esoteric, but it seems that his views have spread to some of the nobles and legion members, whom are now taking an interest in reading his literature and getting access to books that profess his new faith. Overall, they are so fringe, but among those whom believe the support is strong, the practice a scepticism, and many of the Legion whom are superstitious are shifting towards such views. Support them. Oh, look at that. More political power. Division attrition. Consumer goods goes down. Nice. Division recovery rate gets better. More stability and encryption. I like it. You are attacking. I don't want you to attack. Oh, yeah, maybe over here. Maybe. I want you to get the XP. Women's rule enforced. The law of women's stature has been passed, effectively meaning that women can no longer work in many industries. Own land or choose their own husbands. Good. The patriarch of the family now holds a monopoly on his household, though some argue that we should at least allow women to be nurses, and as far as our occultist followers are concerned, priestesses. They're either wives or maids. Let's go with priestesses or nurses for this one. And they're gone. In all honesty, you don't want them to be done. You want to be done here. That's better. Gandhi takes power. Good job, Gandhi. Blood and spirit, and then strike consumerism, aesthetic values, and science constrained would be very good. Oh, the liberal capitalists and the business owners continue to peddle consumerism, materialist nonsense to our nation, weakening their spirit in favor of hedonism. We'll take the business that sell frivolous wares and enrich international bankers, let's allow that king to either distribute it among the nobles or put it towards more productive tasks. Aesthetic values. Modernism has changed the species to material wants, the lowest of desires. Poverty is no bias to society, for simply another struggle that can create great men and the best of our nation should not be decided by the wealth, but by the spirituality and actions. Let us advocate and respect asceticism. Asceticism? How do you say that? As... Asceticism. I'm, I'm probably saying that wrong. Probably. Yeah. I almost guarantee you I'm saying that wrong. Uh, recon military police is not, not bad. I wish we had all these guys, some of these guys, so. But we don't own the states, so. It is what it is. Can you actually win here? 69, nice, 70, nice. Concubinage. Whether it's enemies being felt and repeal of women's rights as conceived by absurd liberalism, legions become increasingly public about the advocacy of wars being able to take on concubines, either the gifted, gifted by the king or for the services or won in a war, or practice the legions rumored to secretly be practicing by passing them off as mistresses. Much of the cause of these demands are from Ebola's denunciation of monogamy for being what he views as a means for women to enslave male virility to eros, claiming not only that the classical of civilizations allowed the practice, but that the domination of women was a natural way of expressing the male spirit. On a practical level, it would also allow for a faster growing population of legionaries. While the king is surprised by the 
or new events. He's also well aware this could keep the nobles happy if instituted it just for them, and this would make have less impact on society. On the other hand, he could inspire soldiers by allowing them to take concubines via conquest if the commander allows it as well. What should we do? Only for nobles. For legions of nobles, soldiers are eligible as well. Two rad could just keep monogamy. Too radical, huh, for Ebola? I'd, or Ellie Gabble. Ellie Gabble. I like this one the most just because, I mean, it, it says that if you want a conquest and if you want these rewards, you should be a soldier. I'm not going to go with a completely radical guy. Let's just keep monogamy then. Got the resistance will weaken. Well, it doesn't look like it's weakened, did it? Nice, get in there. Christian rebels neutralized the Catholic resistance. As long as last, been finally ceased to be a major threat. Many believe attempting to save the traditional papacies a lost cause at long last. Oh my god. If only infringe. Hey, we finally get some political power. Look at that. Can I walk into Sophia? No, okay. Now, can I walk into Sophia now? In all honesty, though, if I tear out, we're going to throw on these guys. And now we're going to need some major support limit. Spirit, strike consumerism. Hey, we actually took Sophia. Look at that. Very nice job, guys. Very nice. Racial all laws ordered. The radical traditionalists long believe in a form of spiritual racism, in which blood contains a psychological element of tradition and provides a life force for our people. While well, racial mixing has been banned in the era in Roman, has a clearly higher status than others within our territory. The question now remains of how to treat those minority ancestry with two proposals given. One is allow them to be organized under their own hierarchies modeled on our own values. For those who pledge loyalty to the king, pay tribute, pledge soldiers to our wars, and acknowledge the king and his noble supremacy. That's the way we can use the best of the aristocratic spirit that exists amongst themselves for all purposes. Or as Arthur Ragini and much of the Legion has strongly pushed for, we could simply place them in our lowest class and let them prove themselves in combat when the time comes. Organize their hierarchies, loyalty, loyal to ours. Our full place is always beneath us. It should be a case by case basis. Anything of Christian national populism, yes, please. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do that one too. Got society spiritual casteism. Very nice. Destroying materialistic hedonism, with a society establishing the norm of asceticism. I'm finding where the Baron Evola uh, celebrates as the triumph of Roman values over our fatalistic Etruscan ones. Many of the knights begin to sell out valuables that are viewed only as overly ornate or comforting, and are expected citizens, expecting citizens to do the same. Some of our followers have even begun to raid taverns that are viewed as prominent hedonistic activities. Um, that possess no higher spiritual value. Uh, this line of thinking includes overthrowing the remaining bank, corporations, and foreign-owned properties that are viewed as less oil or crop than putting them under the king's domain and destroying utterly useless technology such as, te technology such as television. All the collected materials are seemingly going towards the military where never possible. Very nice. We definitely need that. Are you learning? G General Giuseppe Izzo. You can help out, I guess. Sardinia's final offer, huh? Sardinia demanded, eh? It sounds like we should probably give them and start bribing them with influence and whatnot. Merchants beg for an exception. Uh, as part of a battle against encouragement of pointless uh, softness that modern technology promotes, uh, so most civilian vehicles are taken by the Legion. However, the American Tales class begs to have an exception made for them, noting that they need to have uh, vehicles to move wares. Well, they're already being allowed to keep a handful of trucks. Uh, Legion inspectors say it's absolutely needed for supply. They argue it would be more efficient for the economy if they let them keep more of their vehicles. Very well. Very well. Hey, it's becoming infantry leader. That's good. 
Even for Spencer, I probably would have done that too. Take as many with you as possible. Oh, that was a little more nice. It's almost 1937, or 1938, I mean, my apologies. Primordial Faith. Yeah. Yeah, there's that one. Our fellow Legion. There's a Legion of Warriors who've also come to reject modernity in favor of a national mysticism that allows men to come into contact with the very soul of their nation. Together, legions whom do not fear death will overcome the modern incarnations of Kali Yuga, liberalism, modernism, and socialism. Social uprising in there. Code of system. With our tax and traditional capitalism and encroachment of a caste system, some of our serfs simply do not have the means of providing taxes to the legion. However, as once again an opportunity to learn from our ancestors, rather than institute a crude monetary system by instituting the Corby system, which replaces taxes for those who can't pay them, where the required is a government directed labor. Corbys will have greater rights than the class beneath them, the slaves, but nonetheless will have required to carry out the work. Labor will provide us with this, will allow us our economy to exit the worst of black money cause for whatever that's worth. Consumer swells will soon be behind us regardless. Nice. We can go to early mobilization, but I want someone working on army XP. Oh my god, do we need army XP or what? Because we're finding amounts, which sucks a lot for us. It is what it is, though. Hey, at least the bill is still going up, though. Science constrained. Yeah, it's no surprise that the vacuous modern values science's study of the material world over spiritual exploration. Technology and studies that encourage decadence that will end in all such remaining resources being centralized by the state and put only towards the practical manner of fighting off the allies of decadence. Sardinia's final offer. Sardinia rightfully belongs to the House of Savoy. And while Amadeo's stance against a socialist is admirable, it's not his place to dispute Emmanuel's claim. Despite so far viewing as an extreme, he'll be given a chance to submit and join the nobility in the greater state. If not, it'll have to be done by bloodshed. Occult and nobles. Seeing our increased triumph in religious terms, the increasing number of legion members are, in, are said to be practicing occult rituals for good luck before battle and are growing stricter in the personal belief in and practice of Ebola's occultist faith, a tradition. Even the nobility whom follow Ebolanism have taken increasing interest in the faith and its fetishism of them. Excellent. Ooh. Wow. Look at that consumer goods. I love it. It's fantastic. Damn this project. Becoming an organizer, maybe a trickster as well. Hmm. I'll go with organize. Oh wait, why did I choose that one right now? There's no armor XP attached to that. God dang it. Oh. Legion sympathies. We've established fruitful relations with the Romanian Iron Guard, with a handful even being sent over to help stabilize the situation. They've already agreed to our idea for a defensive alliance. Something more of our advisors support as well as still allow us to be flexible on our foreign policy. Most legionnaires prefer an outright alliance with led by two Sicilies, but our advisors are claiming we simply do not have the strength to fight all of our enemies just between the two of us, and a defensive alliance is more practical. Defensive alliance? To act with compromise, make an outright alliance? Let's guarantee each other. My fellow Legion, are we doing Sardinia's final offer? So, if you're that again, please go ahead. And I think it was earlier, too. Yeah, if you're into this one, please go ahead. Primordial Faith. I read this one as well. So, we've read a lot of these. So, by now, we're actually getting some daily arm XP. Heroic idealism. It's who heroic experiences that we not only create men, but supermen who display the best of the nation and find themselves in war until the act becomes holy itself. Death on the battlefield is nothing to fear if it's for the effective overcoming of death itself. We must idealize a hero as the Romans, Spartans, and Teutonic Knights did. Legionary Order. Uh, it is time to establish an official political class based on the vows that should be rewarded. Vitality, traditionalism, strength, and loyalty. The order should have an official initiation that only members can administrate. The potential members based on the commitment to legionary values they need only to answer to the higher order members, higher order members and the king. Mm, sure. They are in the Entente. They accept! Unsurprisingly, given his lack of legitimacy in the region, our king has a higher prestige, military advantage, and support even amongst his own nobles, Amadeo has done what he should have done weeks ago and accepted our offer. We may now integrate his nobles into our order and enforce legion law there, with Amadeo giving liberals and socialists three days of fleet. Though the question of how to reward Amadeo remains, we could grant him Sardinia as a duchy, though we are as rare. He would likely be more liberal leader than we prefer, so we could simply make it a titular title and grant him wealth, or we could give him the prestige of being in charge of a legion garrison, though again, he'd probably be too tied to modern forms of warfare. 
Give him uh, Duchy of Sardinia. The Duchy of Sardinia and name only. Make him a Legion Commander. I like more stability and power. Let's make him a Legion Commander. Look at that. That's awesome. I actually expect us to actually get that. Truth be told. Uh, what type of division template do you have here? 18 combo width? It's not bad. It's close. It's not bad, though. Oh. oh. Mm. We can do that for now. But really, for you for now, why don't you help garrison all the ports? Because we have quite a few ports, and it'll be attacking our shipping quite a bit, which is not ideal. 11 divisions, not great, not bad. But do we get the ships too? Yes, we do. And subbies, subbies and shubbies. I didn't expect us to actually get Sardinia too, so that's actually really good. We have half of Italy united. It's actually fantastic. So yeah, we're getting some daily armor speed too, which is fantastic too. Memorial Faith, we got that one. Occultist Societies. Despite its predicted, it having a lower acceptance among the masses, our newly established ruling classes has come to embrace the evil as religious beliefs far more comfortably than the alternatives offered by Catholicism and Atheism. Occult societies will encourage brotherhood, faith, and cooperation between the Order and their admirers and accelerate our society towards continuing at its core an esoteric soul. Nice. Spiritual Catholicism. At long last, a king and our warrior nobility have established total dominance. We must not recognize our internal nations or castes so that each individual may live up to the full potential as they were intended to. With, with the slaves, serfs, and merchants having to answer to the nobility and each giving uh, them the form of justice they deserve, nothing can stop us. Fantastic. The Legion would de declare an attack on modern institutions for some time. Yeah, that's pretty normal. And I guess beyond the sovereigns. Be sovereign beyond the state. At long last, we have a sovereign who can officially be... A uh, be beyond the laws of man, whose word we should be given one final one to be the final one in all legal and spiritual matters, and whom is as close to the higher powers that be than any of us can hope to be. Even a word nobility must understand that he embodies tradition and is to be worshipped as such. That'd be nice. It is 1938. Grabbing all that stuff, which is good. Any stuff or plain stuff. We should maybe get some Mountaineers too, perhaps. Superstitious citizens. Most of our citizens know a little about the occultism present. Among much of the Legion and our loyal nobility, but with a growing success in the religion and tradition, gaining traction at the expense of the papacy, many are beginning to believe in it, in it to some degree. Even if it is limited, they fear in the magical powers of Evola and its inner circle, or simply feeling that loyalty to the papacy is growing increasingly pointless by the day. As such, they are willing, or less willing to work with the enemy, and even the common soldiers pay more respect to the faith, despite its demanding nature. Wonderful! Holy crap. More recruitable population? And consumer goods factor? Oh my god. Negative 30%. Holy crap. That's awesome. Now, honestly, I'm going to make uh, Rome have this first. Because something tells me we're going to be wars at war soon. Recognize alchemy. With all his faith and tradition getting increased presence among our state, he has begged for us to establish a council of alchemists, whom will work to study what he calls ancient truths that can cast a light on our age of darkness. While the king does not believe that he understands that it would gain the favor of the legion and undermine traditional faith and keep superstitious citizens fearful of the powers. No. All right, why not? Yeah, we're Italian. We need mountaineers. That's actually really good. So we got all those ones pretty much read through. Um, what were the SRI? I've got a lot of stuff to do here still. The Greer in question. Um, honestly, I'll probably uh, nationalize shipyards because we can't get rid of that thing later on. So, By seizing the shipyards for our own use and canceling the ship orders, we can immensely increase our naval production capacity. Expand Toronto shipyards. Our next state dockyard complex will be in Toronto. In this ancient city, the new face of new warfare, naval warfare, will be sculpted. Rebuild the Colosseum. The radical traditionalists have long thought it was nonsense to let the ancient ruins of Rome fall in disrepair, claiming that this was treating the Roman spirit as though it was dead when it's still alive, but just needs to be helped revived in a spiritually dead age that denies the divine. Um, at first stop, this will be the symbol of Roman Empire's greatness and of warrior virtues, namely the Colosseum, that they desire to see be seen rebuilt to its former glory. 
Well, it'll be expensive. There's little question in that the game's supposed to be popular. Sounds like a waste. Heck. <sighs> Fund it. Do you not know us? Uh, what else do we want here? Anything else that we really just have to have? Uh, recon's not bad. I don't mind recon. I kind of like recon, in all honesty. So, um, other than that, I think I might just end it there. We've done very well. We, we've got the Pope under us and the Crush We've got Sardinia under us, and we got rid of any dissenters in Sicily done. So, all we have left is these guys, and maybe Malta eventually. And, of course, these guys are here in Corsica, even whatever. Um, so, hey, if you enjoyed the video, though, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we're going to do our best to probably fight off the syndicalists in the north. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.